All right, let's take a look at the parallel lines in the coordinate plane examples. Example A asks us to find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals negative 1 third x plus 4 and passes through the point 9, negative 5. None of this looks a little confusing, perhaps, but it really is a lot simpler than it appears. First of all, we know that if we're looking for a line that is parallel to a given line, that the slopes must be the same. So our new line is going to have a slope that is the same as the original line, or negative one-third. So let's start collecting the information about our new line. Our new line will have a slope m of negative one-third. And when we're writing the equation of a line, y and x stay variables. And if we're going to write the equation of the line in y equals mx plus b form, then if we already have y and x and already have m, the only thing we're missing is b. So we need to find b, which is that y-intercept. Now, again, if we already have these other three variables, actually it's going to be pretty easy to find b because we can just plug in information we have for those other three variables. And we're told that there's a point 9, negative 5, that's on that new line. So that gives us a specific y and x to work with. So let's use that information and we'll plug it into the formula. We'll get y is negative 5, negative 5, and that's equal to the slope, negative 1 third, times the x, which is 9. Remember that any point is x comma y. So this one, the x-coordinate is first, the y-coordinate second, right? So negative one-third times nine plus b. Now b is our only variable. We can solve for b. So negative one-third of nine would be negative one-third times nine, which is negative three plus b. And that's equal to negative five. We add three to both sides. Our negative threes cancel. And we have b is the same thing as negative 2. So now we have our b, and our m was negative 1 third. It was the same as the other one. So we can write the equation of our line, y equals negative 1 third x minus 2. And that says that our new line has a y-intercept of negative 2, and it rises negative 1 runs 3, or rises 1, runs negative 3. Either way, we get negative 1 third, right? So our new line looks like it goes right about here. OK, let's take a look at example B. I don't think we're going to need that xy graph anymore either. All right, example B. Find the equation of the lines below and determine if they are parallel. Okay, so to find the equation of the lines, we need to find our y equals mx plus b form, and we need to identify the m and the b, yeah? So let's call this one line A, and we'll do it in blue. Line A has a y-intercept, b of 1. b equals 1. I don't know why I keep getting a weird little slash in there. And then a slope of up 1 over 2. So we have a slope m, rise 1, run 2, of 1 half. So that tells us that our equation is y equals 1 half x plus 1. Now for our other line, we'll do it in green. We'll call this one b. So line B has a y-intercept of negative 3. So its B is equal to negative 3. And its slope is rise 1, run 2. So its M is also 1 half. And that says that its equation is y equals 1 half x minus 3. So there's our two equations. And since the slopes of the two lines are equal, they are parallel, which we could also note by putting that little
triangle in the middle of the lines, showing that they're parallel. Okay, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, find the equation of the line that is marked, that is parallel to the line through the point marked with the blue dot. The equation of the line that is parallel through the line. Okay, so we need to find a line over here that goes through this other blue dot and is parallel to the first line. So first thing we need to do then is find the equation of that first line over here. We'll call this one line A. Find the equation of line A so that we can find the equation of line C. Yeah, We need to know what the slope is before we can find the equation of line C. So we really just need to find the slope of line A. So if we pick a point, say negative 3 here, we go up and over to the next point. So line A, A rise over run is up to over 1. So that tells us that our slope of our new line is 2. So our M needs to be 2. And that means that we're going to go down to back 1, down to back 1 from that other point. So that puts our B, our y-intercept, at negative 6. So our other line then has y equals 2x minus 6 as its equation. And there we go.